sale. For real? Yeah, what's happening? Hey! Roast it! Oh god! Another day on the new daily, just getting started, gotta get gas, and probably something to eat this morning. I'm starving already, so I'm gonna grab something from the gas station. I forgot to grab sunglasses already, and I'm not going back and get them. Yo, ketchup? Who <laughs> left ketchup out? How is that even an item that you leave out? got some donuts now we're heading off that ride out I go on like every year with like a bunch of people that we go down the strip and all that on the mini motos that's coming up here in like two months again so that's gonna be cool. I don't know what I wanna take. Hopefully I'll have the two-stroke scooter done by then where I can ride that one. Um, but most likely just gonna be riding this one. We need to get RJ's fixed by then. It's so much more fun riding on the moped when you have like 20 other people doing it. Cause then you just swarm the streets. Boys, we're also almost to 20,000 subscribers. We're literally right there. Hit the subscribe button so we can get to 20,000. If we're already at 20,000 by the time you're watching this, hit it again so we can get to 100,000. Yeah, get a Mop Boy sticker They're in the description below. Support your boys. Get the Mop Boy sticker. Put it on your scooter. Hit some wheelies. How many Vegas homies actually watch the videos? If there's some Vegas homies that actually watch the videos who ride, I'd be down to do like a mini Vegas a mini Vegas ride out and get the boys, the mop boys together here. That'd be fun just to do a little group ride. If you live in Vegas, comment below. This intersection right here is so sketchy. Like, look how far this car had to pull out just to see. Yo, mob in the RV. All right, here's our shot, boys. Here's our shot. like the fast paced wheelies now. I'm not used to my balance point. So like see just keep setting it down. What kind of car was that? What was that thing? Look at this car dude. An Alpha Romero? Oh those are those things we rented. One time Daniel's friends came out here from Chicago and we rented two of those things. And those things are so fast, they're so fun. They're like a tiny little motor in a completely like carbon fiber body, so it's like no weight to them. And they're fun. What the hell kind of trailer setup was that? there now so after work I'll probably try to catch a little ride before it gets dark so I'll catch up with you guys then. Homie's head stalled. Dude he's, he's uh, stressing. Homie's gotta walk it now. He's stressing. Are you good to say? I'm just trying to keep I'm just keeping you updated. We're literally on a race for a Craigslist deal right now. This guy's on his way to buy this bike but we're trying to beat him there. So, 
like we got like 10 minutes to get to the bank and get to this guy's house. Good thing we didn't ride doubles. Oh my god, he's running now. Oh, he's dipping. Not bad for him. No joke at the bank rushing trying to get this money withdrawn. I think people are taking forever. We're trying to get there. The guy literally said that someone's already on their way to the house and we're trying to get there as fast as possible. There it is. Big bands, baby, let's go. No way. They're already here, he's already here, bro. Oh. Just like that, um, we're at home. Daniel just bought a uh, Kawasaki 200, like an old 90s one, for 600 bucks. So basically the story was, we were talking with this guy. You couldn't tell if he was like poker facing us, and he said that he had someone else showing up to his house at the same time we were and paying exact price he was asking for. La -da 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 -da. We offered him 600, he wanted 700, and then he said, no, someone's already on the way. So we told him we're gonna bring 700, uh, we had to stop by the bank and then we rushed there. We got there and the other guy was already there. They couldn't even start the bike. We got the bike started. It literally started like first kick, but they just weren't kicking it hard enough. Um, so we got it started and then once we took off on it, everything sounds dialed, it revs fine, but it bogs out. So it's, uh, what I got out of it was, it seemed like the jets were clogged in the car. The guy said it sat for four months. Two strokes are pretty sensitive, so <laughs> that guy was stoked on the wheelie. So we got the, um, so basically we got it driving, um, we just need to go home and clean the car. We convinced the guy that was there buying it that it was a piece of shit. Like in the video you can hear me, I'm like kind of like talking it down, I'm like what the hell's wrong with that thing? Kind of got him scared because he seemed like he didn't really know what was going on. We offered him five but then we didn't really, weren't going to ride it on the street from where he was at since he was kind of like central city. So. He dropped it off for us, we agreed on six. We got the bike for six, now we got another dirt bike. This literally popped up on Facebook Marketplace and within 10 minutes we were at the guy's house.
What you got? Yeah, hey, I ain't got no title, but a CBR 1000, a 750 Yamaha. Hey! Roast it! Oh god! Oh god! Sell it for fifteen hundred, and then buy like four mo fifty cc mopeds. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And so quick. Literally, we just picked this thing up yesterday, and uh, this is already what it's looking like right now. Piece out. Basically, right now he's painting the frame. He took everything down, cleaned everything out. He took it all down. He got a brand new piston for it. He bought a, basically a whole new top end for it, new gasket. So it's gonna be like a fresh rebuild. Um, you should do. Are you doing a carburetor rebuild too? Like yeah. jets and stuff? Yeah. You ordered it or? No, I haven't ordered any of that yet. I still have a lot to order. Okay. There's no stain marks or anything from gas sitting there for a long time. This I don't understand why this bike was so cheap. Like Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to figure it out. This bike was literally um, he posted for seven, we got it for six. With the title. Yeah, clean title. Title. The, clean the most important part. Clean title. Um it was breaking up, but like we we literally yeah. took it all the I way still apart. Rode it, home. Like it, it just didn't have full speed. And it and it starts first kick. Yeah, it starts first kick. Felt good. Clutch felt good. Everything felt good on it. I think this guy like I think he hit his head the day before or something. <laughs> Be able to build a two stroke and make a street legal and I needed a title. And any bike with a title was always fifteen hundred, two thousand and still beat. This one I could redo and I'm only gonna spend a grand. Because I, I spent six on it and then I put two into the um, the head and then I'm gonna have about three hundred more and just paint parts and all that random stuff I'm gonna do. Yeah. So for some reason he painted over this, but I power washed most of it off and it's coming off pretty good. And it's an FMF pipe too. Yeah, that's dirt. But I bought stuff to polish it too, that's another thing. I get the color scheme, most of it flat black with the blue forks and then just white um, parts, little plastic pieces here and there, just to bring color to it. Mm -hmm. This carbon fiber plastic, so you're gonna be flying through the air with these bad boys. No, that you're probably gonna be whooping on all the 450s down at the track, bro. No, I got that carbon fiber from Ball Out. From Ball Out? Yo, he spray painted the back black. I saw that, but and then, then in the front, it's really not. Yeah, because the carbon fiber wrap. Let's see that KX green, dude. Honestly, you should probably just put this in a scooter. That's gonna be one of the first comments that people see when they see this two stroke motor. <laughs> Alright, so next time you see this dirt bike. Um, it'll probably be pretty close to done and looking like a totally different bike, but where this $600 dirt bike is about to look like a brand new $2,000 dirt bike. Oh, dude, you're getting me covered in overspray. <laughs> <laughs>